Dr. Lori, our favorite antiques appraiser, YouTube star. I mean, we could just go on and on with your credentials, but we're so happy that one of those credentials involves dumpster or no dumpster, which we get to play today. <laughs> That's right. I'm the host of Dumpster or No Dumpster. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, we've got some great pieces. Thank you very much to the viewers for sending them into the Morning Blends Facebook page. It's easy to do. Just post the picture. I can handle that. Hey, look, I just noticed. Look at the little dice there. It says blend. Oh, <laughs> it's a little Easter egg for us. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's Scrabble Crossword Cube. Lots of games we've got going today on the Aww. on the studio table. I love you <laughs> know I you know I love my games, Dr. Lori. I know so you I'm do. Win. I know you do. Yep, lots of different games on the table. Do you remember these? This is this is password. You know, you know oh, what yeah, password yeah. is. And this comes out of here, I think. It's you been know, a while. Password. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. No, some of these are really old. You know, you can write on these and then you switch them. Ugh. The stuff we used to play with in the 70s and 80s. <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, where are you taking us first? Is this something from the 70s or 80s? Or are we going back even further? Going back even further. Ooh. We're going to go back to the 50s to this brownie bank. How about this? So if you were a Girl Scout, you didn't get to Girl Scout status until you were a brownie. So brownies, of course, are the younger Girl Scouts. And you can see here that this was a bank. It would be Pennies from Heaven, which was a very, very popular song in uh, the 1940s and into the 1950s. So you'll notice every time it rains, it rains pennies from heaven. And that's what the brownie bank is showing you here. It's raining cats and dogs and then the gold, of course, is the pennies. Okay. I'm thinking this is too nostalgic. Like no dumpster. Like I feel like so. Is it an actual? Is it a piggy bank? Like it's what actual, is it made of? It's an actual bank. There's a slot in the top, and okay. then it opens sort of like a purse. Oh, right? it opens like a purse. But you would you could you could use it both ways. But normally people would just little girls would keep it on their on their shelf, and then they put their pennies in it. It's. I feel really like that marks a lot of boxes between like the Girl Scouts. You got fashion. The right. time period, it's got right. music related to it. You got it. You got it. So yep. anytime that an antique falls into more than one category, value goes up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what is the value on that? No dumpster. 70, it is. $75 with the no dumpster. Wow. Cool. Nice. That's a cool find. It was That's a cool awesome. one. It was really cool. Yeah. So somebody watching the blend <laughs> sent that one in. And then oh. this, this is a nice piece too. Also same time period, the 1950s. This is a dollhouse and it's actually made of asbestos board. So, <laughs> yes, yes. Wait a second. Asbestos board, uh, asbestos board and also asbestos tile were very, very popular. And actually, if you don't touch it, it doesn't start to flake. Usually it's okay. But uh, this is actually a board uh, dollhouse. So you can see the stairs and of course the, uh, the exterior with the plant boxes and the inside with the attic door on the second floor, you go up to the attic uh, through the oh. through the bathroom. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, is it also painted with lead paint? <laughs> no, I don't nice. think it has all of those problems. <laughs> nice but one, in fact, nice it was one. a pretty interesting piece. I was sorry that they didn't send a picture in of the front, but yeah. it's nice to see what the inside looked like. Mm, I don't okay. know, you said you can't touch it. That makes me worried, no, no I'm no. gonna store it. No, if you don't touch it, nothing will happen. If you start to touch it, it starts to flake, then it's yeah. a problem. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, how, yeah, I, I know that scares me. I'm like, Ugh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I feel like there's such a negative connotation mm. attached to asbestos that well, when you yeah. see it, yeah. now yeah. that we know, but then they didn't know. You know yeah. how it is. So, gotta be. I don't know. I'm. I'm. I don't know, Doctor Laura. I'm gonna say dumpster only because that does kind of freak me. I, like legitimately, like. Eh. And I've already. I, dollhouses are hard to store. I mean, they are they're large. To store. Unless they're being used, value yeah. on it is just at the fifty dollar number. Uh, you want to think. You want to think about that. There are also lithographed tin dollhouses that can be much more. And then a lot of people have these very elaborate dollhouses. Some dollhouses that are from the Victorian era have gone for several tens of thousands yeah. of dollars on the market. Well, because so they, they're so anybody. detailed. Some of them are. I mean, they're gorgeous. Exactly. 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 So, all right. Oh, a tough one. Woo! Putting us to the that test this Wednesday. Yep. <laughs> okay. What do we have? Do we have a gimme? Do you have an easy one? Hopefully this one's easy. It's George Jensen. It's a sterling silver service set. So you've got, of course, the salad fork and, and spoon, 
You also have a knife. You also have a ladle and a fruit spoon. The small one is called a fruit spoon. So that's the serving set made by George Jensen, the great Danish uh, designer. It dates to the early to mid 20th century and it's all sterling silver. No dumpster, no dumpster, no dumpster, no dumpster, no dumpster. I feel, I feel like you can't go wrong here because if you like the design, if it ends up being a good designer, which I know we're going to find out momentarily, then you hold on to it as is. Otherwise, it's sterling silver. You can always take that somewhere and then be able to get the metal value out of it. So I feel like it's a win-win no matter where you are. So that's I'm going no dumpster as well. So you asked for a gimme. There's your easy one. It's yes. no yeah. dumpster, yes, and it's sterling silver. George Jensen, a premier, of course, 20th century designer, it's very true. well known, very highly collected, and it's marked on the back. So it's so that you don't melt, like that you keep that in you it. Don't melt. No, you don't melt. You don't melt that down. That set's worth five hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very. I do not yeah. melt that down. That is. But I, know. I always say, you know, the most valuable stuff. Fine art, furniture, precious metals, including jewelry. Yeah. So right there, what you said, Natalie, about the precious metals, absolutely true. And you know yeah. what? If people do have some of those precious metals debating on whether or not to melt down, that's where you can help people at home, too. They yeah. can just reach out to you, get in touch with you, right? That's right. DrLoriV.com. All kinds of information about what to look for is on my YouTube channel at DrLoriV. No. Always a pleasure. Thanks so much. Thanks for playing. You did great.